Hello everyone, welcome to the Ichimoku.co daily stock market review for the trading day ending Monday, December 15th. Firstly to the uh, S&P 500 and uh, here we've seen continued selling uh, in this market today, uh, bearish candle once again, uh, following the sellers taking strong control of the market for the previous day's trading closing down around the low, but not able to breach that round number 2000 for the previous day's trading. Today a fairly significant event in breaching that round number. It does suggest that the sellers are certainly still the stronger party in this market. Um, the buyers uh, opened above the 2000 level, um, tested up to the previous support and resistance level at uh, 2019 and then were very strongly rejected to close in a solid bearish manner down below the 2000 level. And we do have a continuation of the trend to the downside and we also have a uh, trend in the uh, fast and medium term time frames to the downside with the market trading down below both the Kijun Sen and the Tenkan Sen indicator which are both the uh, green line and the pink line on this chart. We also have the chicka span below the corresponding price action which is confirming the bearish sentiment in the faster term time frames. But we still do have a bullish market in that longer term time frame with the market trading up above the Ichimoku cloud. Now if the market does continue to uh, trade off then uh, we uh, should see some support coming in around the 1968 level and then uh, we may have the market interacting with the cloud uh, for tomorrow's trading just below that region and as we move further into the week the cloud actually moves up so uh, the uh, support uh, for this market actually moves higher than that 1968 level. In terms of this, this candle we do have a, a lessening of the amount of net momentum that has been built over the last couple of days with that uh, those two uh, large black body candles in two out of three days and the size of the black body is a little bit small, smaller. Um, so it does suggest that the sellers might not be as strong as they previously were but um, we're not seeing any strength from the buyers here whatsoever and there is still, still downside momentum in net terms with the sellers so it does suggest a, a possibility of the market trading to these lower levels. Now here if we do see the market attempt to rally the 2000 level may hold a strong resistance where it was whereas it was previously uh, some strong support. And the other important thing here and it's a little bit difficult to see but there was a window that was opened up previously um, uh, in early November and the market found support around there previously when it tested down to there uh, just after it was formed and bounced off, off there solidly and the prior days trading in the market was unable to breach that area and it strengthened the amount of support around that 2000 level so that's been taken out today in a uh, fairly bearish manner and suggests that uh, we certainly could see this market trade lower. Now in terms of the uh, weekly chart with the S&P 500 and here we see some very interesting trading for the candle that has finished trading, that very large black body candle, we see that the market uh, maintains price action up above both the Kijun Sen and the Tenkan Sen. So we still have a bullish market in all three time frames, uh, even though we had that very solid to bearish sell-off and the market testing to around that 2000 round number level of support. For this new week that is uh, developing, we're seeing uh, the market testing below 2000, but some support coming in around the Tenkan Sen, which is trading at 19, roughly about the 1980 level. Um, yeah, roughly roughly 1980. So uh, that will be a very important area for this market. Now if we look at the last time that the market previously tested down through the Tengen Sen, we saw the market trade through the uh, Kijun Sen. Um, and uh, this suggests that even if we do see the market continue to sell off and breach the Kijun Sen in a bearish manner, we're going to have to see some confirmation uh, with the bearish candle following that and what we saw previously was the bearish breakout below the Kijun Sen but we didn't see a strong bearish candle to follow and then we saw the buyers come back into the market. So if we do see the market breach down through the Kijun Sen which trades roughly about that 1949-1950 level, uh, what we want to see to confirm the bearishness would be a continuation of uh, another candle following that uh, um, breakout. So uh, no sign here at the moment that the market may even approach the Kijun Sen and we're looking here for the Tenkan Sen uh, to hold as uh, some support. 
Now moving to the bands and here we see the uh, solid bearish activity down below the, the lower band signifying that we have a very strong negative bias in this market now. And this suggests that there is a potential for the market to trade lower. Now whether we see that um, all in the uh, next couple of uh, candles, we might, might not. We could see the market retrace back towards the uh, bottom of the bands trading at 2029 at the moment and find some resistance there and then sell off but the important thing here was we saw the bearish um, breakout we saw the market retrace back to uh, within the uh, um, bands find resistance at the middle of the bands close outside of the bands in a moderately bearish manner we didn't see the strong follow-through but we did see that for the next day's candle with the lower band holding as resistance for that candle and then continued follow-through today uh, with the market uh, continuing the series of lower highs and lower lows so it does suggest that uh, perhaps this very strong uptrending phase that we have uh, had previously is finished and we're now in a new down uh, trending phase. The uh, market has broken out from a, uh, some the bands that were squeezed and it uh, does suggest um, that uh, we have seen uh, that uh, the market going through that cycle of uh, high volatility to low volatility and now volatility coming into the market as trending action with the bands playing out wide and it suggests now that uh, there is a fairly decent solid trend to the downside in this market. Moving next to the Dow 30 and uh, here we see bearish activity down below both the Kyujin Sen and the Tengen Sen. Um, previously we saw the bearish breakout down below uh, both of those indicators and uh, on the, the candle that followed we saw the market attempt to rally through uh, the Kijun Sen and Tengen Sen and be rejected from there and now continued price rejection for the last couple of candles with the sellers maintaining control of the market for today's trading. Uh, definitely not as strong control uh, as the previous day's trading and the size of the black body is smaller so suggesting that the sellers may not be as strong as they previously were but we're not seeing any strength from the buyers here and as the buyers attempted to rally above the 17,350 level they were fairly strongly rejected from that area. Uh, we have however seen the market find some support at 17,151 so that is an important area moving forward and some solid support extending down to about the 16,978 level which uh, will coincide roughly with the area around the Ichimoku cloud so we're likely to see strong support coming in around there if we do see uh, some continued selling for the next day. Importantly, looking at the Kijun Sen and Tenkin Sen, they're both now pointing down sharply and that reflects some solid downside momentum. And very often when we see that, when we do get the retracement, we do get the retracement eventually. It's a bit hard to tell exactly when it'll happen, but we do get the retracement. And when we do, it tends to be the Tenkin Sen that holds it as very strong resistance and the market tends to then bounce off back to the downside off there. So uh, that will be a very important level moving forward at the Tenkin Sen, which is is trading roughly about 17,550. Now um, we still do have a bullish market in that longer term time frame with the market trading above the cloud uh, but uh, the bearish activity in the faster term time frames is now supported by the ticker span so it's suggesting that um, momentum in the medium term time frame has shifted towards the sellers away from the buyers so suggesting that if the sellers are strong enough um, they may eventually be able to change this trend in the longer term time frame. And with the bands, uh, with the Dow 30, a very similar type of trading activity here with the squeeze, the bearish uh, breakout, the market retracing to the middle of the bands, uh, closing in a bearish manner down below. They're not a strong bearish manner. Then we saw the bearish follow through, the lower band holding as resistance, and the continued bearishness, the market trading below the lower band, a fair way away. So uh, just looking a little overextended, wouldn't surprise to see the market retrace. But if we do, we'll be looking to the lower band trading at 17,529 at the moment to hold a strong resistance for the Dow 30. Next to the Nasdaq 100 and here we see a very solid bearish candle today, a much stronger candle than we saw with the other two indices and uh, the large black body here suggests that the sellers uh, not only have they taken control and shown strong commitment to taking this market lower but they've built some very solid downside momentum in net terms between the open and the close and it suggests that uh, there is a possibility of the market breaching uh, the support uh, that uh, we saw uh, hold uh, today. Now the problem here is that just 
below that support level at 4147, which the market failed to close through, is the window that's opened up, and it's a very large window, so a very significant window just below here. And there's a good likelihood of that region holding as very strong support for this market. Um, the market did test it previously and was strongly rejected from there, so uh, it extends down to roughly about the 4110 region so a very very important area of support but we do have a strong bearish market in the uh, medium and fast term time frames with the uh, uh, current price action down below the um, Kijinsen and Tenkinsen and for today's trading as we saw for the previous day's trading both of those indicators have held as resistance for this market but a very strong price rejection from there uh, the difference with the other indices here also is that we see the chicka span is within the price action so it's suggesting that there is uh, some in, in indecision in the market but we've seen the market transitioning from this uh, uh, upside momentum phase and there is potential now if the market does trade lower and through the price action here with the chicka span then uh, we uh, will perhaps see some negative uh, momentum of confirming the uh, uh, bearishness in the faster term time frames but at the moment we haven't seen that occur yet so a lot depends on how the market reacts to this window now looking next to the um, bands with the Nasdaq 100 and here we saw the squeeze going on, previous price action up above the upper band with a strong bullish bias. The market then testing within the bands, finding support. And this is the classic transition that we see from an uptrending phase to a downtrending phase. And the uh, close within the bands, the middle of the bands holding a support, testing down to the lower band holding a support, testing up uh, close to the upper band holding as resistance, uh, the middle of the bands and above holding as resistance and then breaking out down below the lower band. Uh, that candle was uh, fairly bearish on the breakout even though it's a small uh, black body candle but we have seen uh, for that candle the market close down at the lows suggesting the sellers had taken control and we saw the buyers lose commitment within the bands and today the confirmation of this strong negative bias with the strong bearish follow through and uh, the area just within the bands holding as resistance so it suggests that this market has transitioned into a strong downtrending phase. Next, moving to the Russell 2000, and uh, here we've seen the Russell 2000 break out down below the support of this large congestion zone that the market was in previously. We had a lot of indecision in this market uh, prior to the last couple of days trading. Previous days trading, we saw the market testing just around the swing low within that area, and today we've seen the uh, confirmation of the breakout with a uh, very strong bearish candle taking out 11.47 previous support and resistance. Uh, we do have a strong bearish market in the medium and fast term time frames by trading below the pink line and the uh, green line which is the Kijun Sen and the Tenkan Sen respectively and those two indicators are now pointing down sharply and it's been quite some time since we've seen it pointing down so it's reflecting uh, the solid downside momentum in this market. Um, if the market does continue to trade lower, looking to the Ichimoku cloud to provide strong support at 11.25 and just below there 11.23 we have uh, a previous uh, support and resistance level and then just below that region a previous uh, small window that was opened up that extends roughly down to about the 11.17 area. Now just looking at the chicka span here and that is below the corresponding price action so it is confirming the negativity that we're seeing in the shorter term time frames but um, as we can see failing to confirm the bullishness that we're seeing here in uh, the longer term time frame and it does suggest that if the sellers here are strong enough there is an opportunity for them to change that trend in the longer term time frame as well but um, they will need to be very strong to breach the solid support from the Ichimoku cloud. And just looking at the bands with the um, uh, Russell 2000 and here we saw the previous bullish activity up above the upper band highlighting the strong bullish bias the market testing within the uh, bands uh, breaking out to find uh, uh, the indecision in the markets no uh, strong follow through breaking out to the downside on a bearish candle but no follow through uh, finding resistance up above the upper band the squeeze going on uh, getting ready for a new trending phase the market breaking out to the downside in a bearish manner the follow, strong follow through for uh, the trading a couple of days later um, the area just above the lower band holding as resistance as well as uh, for today and the strong bearish follow through today suggesting that we've transitioned into a strong downtrending phase so if the market does uh, retrace we'll be looking to the um, lower band roughly about 11.57 to hold a strong resistance 
Now just looking quickly at some stocks and firstly to Tesla Tesla Motors, uh, TSLA is the code. And firstly, on the uh, weekly charts, which are on the bottom and the bottom left hand corner, we have the Ichimoku chart. And we see bearish trading activity down below the Kijin Sen and the Tenkan Sen. Strong bearish follow through following the breakout. But the market now finding support around the Ichimoku cloud. So, some important trading activity coming up here. And that is going to be a good test of this market. The cloud trades at 2361. Um, and uh, we certainly could see some buying coming in around this area. Area. If we look at the relative strength performance, and we'll just make it a little bit bigger, um, we see that uh, Tesla has been uh, solidly underperforming the S&P 500 uh, for the last couple of weeks and uh, that follows the breakout down below the Kijin Sen and the Tenkan Sen. And uh, it does suggest a possibility of the market continuing to trade to lower levels, but certainly um, this support at the uh, Ichimoku cloud here, the top of it, is going to be very, very important. Looking at the um, bands here on the bottom right hand corner, which is the uh, weekly chart, we saw the bearish breakout um, the, uh, for the prior week and then the solid bearish follow through for this week. And it suggests that we've seen the market now transition from this strong uptrending phase into the uh, strong downtrending phase, uh, where we saw the market trade within the bands, the bottom band holding a support, top band holding as resistance, uh, the squeeze going on, the breakout, and the confirmation with the bearish follow through. If we do see the market retrace, uh, any uh, we could see strong resistance coming in at the bottom band at 226 and on the daily charts in the top uh, quadrants we see uh, on the left hand side the Ichimoku charts trading below each of the Ichimoku indicators supported by the chicka span a very strong bearish market sellers coming into the market strongly again today uh, taking control and very strong underperformance uh, looking at the um, volatility here we uh, there is a possibility of us having formed a cyclical high here. So um, we could see volatility tick off and uh, we could see either then uh, the market congest or retrace. And if we do retrace, we're likely to find some strong resistance at the Tenkan Sen initially, which trades at 216.79. On the bands, uh, we see continued price activity down below the lower band. We have seen for some time the bands are fairly wide now. Um, if the market does retrace, looking to the lower band at 215.24 to hold as resistance. Next we'll take a look at Google, G-O-O-G -O -O is the code and uh, here we see some very interesting trading activity coming up on the uh, on the weekly chart and for the prior weeks trading we saw the market finding support at the bottom of the Ichimoku cloud so uh, very important week coming up for the market here and as we uh, this new week develops we're seeing a breakout down below that cloud now um, we haven't seen the the candle finalized yet so we don't know whether it is going to end up down there um, for continued bearishness we'd have to see a strong bearish close and then some strong follow through because very often on breakouts from a flat part of the cloud we can have four moves so we need to be very very careful here um, as to whether this move is going to develop further to the downside so some important trading activity coming up now if we do see the market bounce off uh, this area below the cloud we could find some resistance around the tank and ten, which trades at 533 and we saw that for the last couple of uh, last three trading periods so uh, that is a very important area moving forward if the buyers do attempt to come into the market but we do have a bearish market in the longer in, sorry in the medium and fast term time frames and that's supported by the uh, chicka span uh, but a neutral market by closing just within the band within the um, Ichimoku cloud for this week's trading but looking at the bands here on the uh, weekly chart we're seeing continued price activity down below the lower band and the market's been finding uh, support uh, resistance at that lower band for quite some time and this week uh, shouldn't be any different we'd expect to find some strong resistance there it trades at 529.16 and if we uh, see the market close within there and then some follow through it uh, may suggest that we've seen a change in, of bias in this market but at the moment continuing to trade below the lower band confirming the strong bearish bias in that medium term time frame in terms of the daily charts and Ichimoku on the top left hand corner we see continued bearish activity below each of the Ichimoku indicators, a strong bearish candle and uh, the sellers taking control extending the size of the body so building downside momentum and uh, suggesting that there is a 
potential for the market, uh, in, for the stock Google to continue trading to lower levels. We do have potential support at the previous swing low around the 508 level. And the bands here uh, on the right hand, uh, uh, top right hand corner reflects the strong bearish bias in this market by continuing to trade down below the lower band. Uh, the lower band trades at 525.34 so uh, we'll be looking to that, to that area to hold as resistance if the market does rally. Moving next to Lowe's and that's been a very interesting stock for quite some time, a stock that's uh, solidly outperformed the S&P 500 uh, for uh, a quite a long period of time from uh, roughly uh, the 15th of August and still continues to strongly outperform the overall market. There is potential for um, the market on the weekly chart to have formed a cyclical high here so we'll be watching for that. But if we look at this candle that has finished uh, trading for the last week, we have uh, uh, something of a doji type candle where the sellers have taken control of the market still in a first time frame uptrend with the candle making a higher high and a higher low but a candle where the buyers uh, where, whereas they previously had control uh, they've lost the control to the sellers and it suggests that there is potential for a change of trend to the downside so looking for confirmation of uh, the stock to make a lower high and a lower low now if the market does come off uh, we'll be looking to the Tenkinsen trading at 59.81 to hold as very strong support and I suggest that it probably is a very good likelihood that that will happen if the market does trade down to there but uh, we're not seeing any strong selling in this market at the moment so uh, important trading activity coming up over the next day or so in terms of the bands on the weekly chart and here we see continued bullish activity up above the upper band so we have a strong bullish bias and we'll be looking to the upper band at 61.55 to hold a strong support if we do see uh, uh, selling come into the market uh, with the um, daily charts in terms of Ichimoku here we see that strong outperformance in terms of relative strength uh, the market uh, trading up above each of the Ichimoku indicators but for the the previous days trading to today we saw the close down below the Tenkinsen for the first time in quite some time and it suggested that we had a bearish bias in this market. The sellers took control on that candle, changed the trend to the downside but today we've seen the sellers lose that control with really neither the buyers nor the sellers taking control uh, here so it does suggest that we may not see the market continue to trade down. So an important trading day coming up for the next day's trading. If the buyers are strong enough the opportunity is here for them to continue this second time frame uptrend back to the upside. In terms of the bands, for the first time in some time we've seen the market close within the bands, a fairly bearish close. We haven't seen any strong follow through today, but importantly we saw the market test just outside of the bands are being rejected, failing to close outside of the bands once again, even though the sellers have lost control of the market. So it suggests that we may have the, the market transitioning into, uh, or, or attrition transitioning away from that strong uptrending phase that we were previously in. Now a lot depends on how the market behaves for the next candle. If we see a bullish breakout above the upper band and some strong bullish follow through then uh, we're likely to see that uptrend uh, establish itself once again. But there is a possibility here for the next candle if the sellers are strong enough that they could test down to around that middle band which trades roughly about the 63, 60, 63, 70 level so uh, uh, some very very important trading uh, coming up for the next day. Moving next to Costco and here on the bottom charts on the weekly chart we've seen uh, continued price activity up above each of the Ichimoku indicators giving us a bullish market in all three time frames and uh, for that candle from uh, this week's trading has finished we've seen the sellers take strong control of the market. This is the most bearish candle that we've seen for quite some time in this market and the last time was roughly around here when the market was trading within the cloud and finding resistance at the top of the cloud and that was in uh, June this year. So for uh, the last six months we've seen very solid uh, bullish activity and uh, this strong bearish uh, candle here has built some very solid downside momentum and suggests the possibility of the market continuing to trade lower. Now I suggest however that if we do see this new uh, candle for this week 
uh, trade lower. We're likely to see strong support coming in at the Tengen Sen at tra trading at 135.74. Um, looking at the relative strength comparative, strongly outperforming the market and still even on this bearishness uh, that we saw for this week's trading, we're still continuing to solidly outperform. But we have seen a cyclical high in volatility and volatility coming off. So it is suggesting that there is potential for the market to continue to retrace or to uh, congest, we may not see a resumption of that strong first time frame uptrend that we saw previously. Now in terms of the bands here on the bottom right hand corner we see the uh, market previously trading outside of the upper band in a fairly strong bearish manner giving us a strong bullish bias but for uh, the week that has uh, just finished trading and for this current week that's developing we're seeing that upper band or very close to it hold a support with the market unable to breach there for the previous day's trading. So there is potential for the buyers to come into this market bouncing off that upper band support trading at 138. Now the thing to watch here is that the bands are very wide and uh, it does suggest that there is a possibility of the market attempting to moon revert so either attempting to trade back towards the middle of the bands or for the market to uh, congest and uh, certainly does suggest that the potential for the market to continue trading up in that second time frame uptrend is not as great as the potential for it, the market to either uh, congest or to uh, retrace back towards the middle of the bands. But looking at the daily charts, and uh, here we've seen previous uh, strong price activity above each of the Ichimoku indicators, then the bearish breakout below the uh, Tenkan Sen, uh, the Kijun Sen holding a strong support for this market, the market uh, failing to close down below there. For the day prior to today's trading, however, we saw the market test to the Kijun Sen, and the Kijun Sen acting as resistance with the sellers closing with control on that candle. So it suggested that there was potential for the market to continue to trade to lower levels. We have seen that for today's trading with the market uh, continuing with a lower high and a lower low, but it's done that on a very weak, indecisive, spinning top type candle. So it suggests the possibility of a change of trend. And we also have a potential bullish harami pattern. So the downtrend in place, uh, the black body candle, uh, the body of the current candle within the previous candle. So we'll be looking for confirmation with a higher high and a higher low. Now the problem here is that we could see continued resistance at the Kijun Sen indicator trading at 141.40 and then above there at the Tenkan Sen. So uh, the next day if we do see the market rally uh, we are going to see potentially some important trading. What we'd like to see would be uh, for the uh, long side would be for the buyers to close in a bullish manner back up above both the Kijun Sen and the Tenkan Sen. Looking at the bands here um, with uh, the um, with Costco, and here we saw the previous bull, strong bullish activity up above the upper band. The market then closing within the bands, or attempting to rally, finding resistance to the upper band, testing down through the lower band, um, and closing in a strong bearish manner. But we haven't seen the follow through today, so we're not too sure about this breakout. It, there is quite some doubt about whether we are going to see that new strong bearish bias develop. So a lot depends on the next candle. But the important thing here has been the uh, lower band trading at 142.50 sorry 138.93 holding as resistance so that's going to be a very very important level for uh, tomorrow's trading.